I can't believe you got to dance with Metaton. Big deal. Earlier, you and I danced with death. Wow, is death cool? Yeah, she's like super hot. Hey guys, I'm recording again. Welcome to my Undertale playthrough. I think this is part oh god, eight? I, I don't I don't even know. So I went and I did some walking around talking to these guys because why not? There's no response. Have I talked to them in here before? I think I have. No. A hotel! Cool! I never stayed at a fancy hotel. Really? Me neither. A virus! We should go on vacation sometime! Yeah! Let's vacation to a hotel! It's a weird vacation, but okay. So, yes, I um, went and did some things. Not really, actually. I, I should have done more things. I should have bought items. One second. I don't have any items. Oh my god. I'm, 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 I'm so dumb. I'm so bad at this game. Anyways. Yeah, so I went off and I didn't really do anything in between episodes or anything, but... I just put on my armor and that's about it. Okay, so we are back to where we... And, well, we ended our last episode. It snowed in, but you know what I mean. We're back to where we're supposed to be. And now we can progress. You guys excited? I don't know if I'm excited or not. Throne room. Well, let's go this way first. And it's quiet. Quiet hallways make me very uncomfortable. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Shara. It's empty. Dun dun dun! Where is her body? Or their body? Whatever. Oh my god. Alright. What did voice did I give him again? I don't remember. Oh, so peaceful. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. Now, how can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, on days like these, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Stop the small talk and let's get to murderizing! I'm just kidding. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Huh. Oh, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? It's a throne. Well, no kidding. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. I don't like going to the dentist. That doesn't help my anxiety at all. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. <sighs> this is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... 
If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I mean, ah, uh, no. I think I, th I, I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's let's just go. I mean, if I forgot to go do something, well, I guess that gives you guys. I mean, there's a lot of secrets that I really did not find during this playthrough, so there is always a reason for you to buy this game. But you guys go find the secrets yourself, I guess, because I'm gonna go fight this mofo and see how horrible he kills me. I see. This is it, then. I don't want to kill you, though. Ready? <sighs> Not really. A strange light fills the room. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. No, but I want to mercy you. Okay. Um, let's talk to him. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh, shoot! Oh, that was terrifying. You tell Asgore that you don't want to fight him. Everything gets funny for a moment. Oh, I don't know how to do these. Okay, that makes sense. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. What? What? Oh god, I didn't know that that was gonna happen. Oh boy, I already need to heal. I think I need better defense. Oh, don't use the snippies. Why did I have that in my inventory? Oh, I guess I could go back and see what happens with the snow beast. Uh, okay. I'll get some time. You ate the butterscotch pie. Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. What? What? Okay. Keep that in mind, then. I, I just did the opposite of what I was supposed to do for that. Alright. That was bad. Uh, uh. Alright. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What the frick? Oh my gosh, I'm not very good at this. Jeez. Oh, I... I didn't see that. Oh god. I'm going to eat a... Oh. I'm gonna eat a dog residue? What? You used the dog residue. The rest of your inventory fell- Oh! I can use it! Oh god, I didn't know that. Hodge. <clears throat> Anyways, I'll use a farm burger, I guess. Hey! What? The heck? Is this? Oh my god. That was pretty good. Holy heck! Okay. 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 This fight is not easy. Okay. That one was easy. <laughs> I don't like memory games. I'm not very good at memory games. I'm not good at this one either. What? I was... I definitely got hit, or... I guess not. Slowly wearing 
Oh god, no! What is this? This is bull! He's only wearing noses. Damn, that one's hard to do. It goes so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a good one, that was a critical hit. Oh shoot, that was a bad idea, 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 that was a bad idea. Okay, well, I should heal up faster than that. Oh my god. What is this? Okay. Wait, gotta stretch. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. What? Jeez. What the heck? Ugh. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, I'm at half. I should consider. Oh. You're safe than sorry. That was a close one. I got in the middle there. Liar. I actually might be able to do this on my first try. We'll see. I didn't even need Temi armor. Well, not first try, I guess. <laughs> first try with items. Or was it my first try? I can't even remember. I can't even remember what boss fight I died in now. No, I bite, died in medicine. I wasn't paying attention to that one. Oh! <laughs> that was a really hard hit. I'm sorry. Uh, so, that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Why didn't you just take one soul? And then go to the surface, and then kill, like, more people there. <laughs> and then free everyone. Then, I would destroy humanity. And if it's because you're too nice, just get, like, Sans to do it. He probably wouldn't care that much. And let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became, became disgusted with my actions. You murdered children. <laughs> She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Of course not. Of course I would never hurt you. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? I'd be happier underground with Sans and Papyrus and Undyne and Elfies and Metaton and Blookie. <laughs> I'm fine. 
human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. Ah, we do. <laughs> Why would you do that, dude? Dude, dude, murderer! You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> oh, fudge! Oh no. Uh. 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 What? Uh. Oh god. Okay, so that fucker just crashed my entire game. And then now this? Excuse me? Okay. No, let's continue. Oh god. Oh, it's so dark! It's so scary. Wait, am I moving forward? Oh yeah. I... Wait. Oh! Shit, that actually scared me. No! Don't erase my file. What if I have to quit? What if my game crashes again? Oh. Howdy! It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. <laughs> You're unsettling, Flowey. Boy! I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can feel them wriggling. That's sexual. <laughs> we don't say stuff like that. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers! Monsters, humans, everyone! I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> you're... you're evil, I hate you. Oh, and forget about escaping your old... to your old save file case. Text me one second. Oh god. It's gone forever! But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over, and over, and over! What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> You really are an idiot. God damn it! Shh. Uh. Uh. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa, 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 jumping right into it. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh god, please stop. Oh, oh god, I'm not going to survive this, am I? What's going on? Oh god, what is this? 
Excuse me, what is this? You called for help. Oh god. Oh god, help, 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 help. Oh god, yes, thank you. I, I quite appreciate all that. Oh god, what is this? Oh god, that hurts too. Who am I? I don't even see myself. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh. Bees? The bees, not the bees! What? The gaster hands. Oh. What the heck? You called for help. Oh. I need all of them. I need all of them now. Oh god, I'm, I'm not. Wait, can't go shoot in there? You little kid. That's cheating. Cheating, 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 cheating. Cheesy doodles. What the fudge? Oh, great. Oh, my God. No! Shoot! I couldn't press the button! <clears throat> Game over, <laughs> yay! This is all just a bad dream. Are you gonna crash? And you're never waking up! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did you... Really think I was going to be satisfied killing you only one time? You should have been because I knew we won, but maybe a boot. Kinda of figured out how to dodge those ones. Warning! The blue heart is. Is this the battle mission? Okay. Oh, you called for help. Smokes, help me! Thank you, Purple Heart. What is this? Oh god. Death, doom, corrupt, despair, nightmare, murder, Please! Oh, that wasn't enough. I'm glad that it doesn't make me go through that whole thing again, though. This would take forever. What? 
is this? Oh my god. 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 Okay. gonna get killed. God damn it! There we go. Pathetic! Now you're really gonna die! Can you stop crashing my game? <laughs> it's seriously not fun anymore. Oh, it was never fun. Oh man, I get it. Haha, <laughs> it's funny. Anything funny is fun. Oh god, this one again? It's been so long. Okay, this is the last one I think. Oh, great. This looks like fun. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God, that was horrible. Oh. Come, save me, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, let's do this together, guys. We can win this. Flabby's defense drops to zero. Troll face. You idiot. Ow. Ow, ow, excuse me. Stop. <laughs> Did you really think? Excuse me, can I can I leave? You could defeat me? I am the god of this world. 
I want out. No, help me. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Uh, no. I, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I go? Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you? Call for help. <laughs> but nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Ow, that voice really hurts my throat. <laughs> Whoa, oh hey. You let me go. What? How'd you... Because I smacked the wall so many times, I guess. Well, I'll just... <laughs> Eat me. <laughs> Where are my powers? Right here, bud. The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You are supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Well, that looks super painful. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will have mercy on you, fuck. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Burying me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Because I love you. You're so cute and so sad. I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Oh, Flowey, <laughs> I want to hug you. What happens if I go back? Oh, I can't go back. Well, I guess this is it then. I guess this is the end. Oh, is this the credits? <laughs> oh, oh my god, is this the credits? Oh, well. Asgore Sphere Reveal. Anyways, you guys probably, I mean, if you don't realize it by now, obviously, I haven't played the game before, but I know what's going on, if that makes any sense, because I have looked up a lot of the lore and stuff. Oh. Ring ring. Mm. Hey, uh, mm. is anyone there? Mm. Well, just calling to say mm. you made a snowman really happy. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yes! Mm. Guess I should say something else too. Mm. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall down here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. 
It's probably for the best, anyways. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. And it also helps that I bang her every night. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, uh, hey. If we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention, human. I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Elfies with the, her research. She's going to find a way to get us out of here. And Dinah's helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of... explosion-inducing. But I think Alfie's likes having her around. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you up to, punk? Nah! Please don't nuke the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nuke the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry what ha about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... Ugh, darn it. I miss the big guy. <sighs> Come on, Undyne, snap out of it! Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little re more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. Oh, well, that's so sad. Don't say that. Now I feel bad. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll fe feel better knowing our trouble is worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you wanna... <laughs> she says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back anytime, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay? Buddy? Bye bye for now. See ya, punk. Click. No. I would call back like every day though, seriously. I, I don't even like the phone. Oh, hey, Flowey. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Elfies? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. I don't trust you. But I trust you enough to do just that. 
Be besides, I still have time to record left. So... Why don't we reload? Okay, so we're gonna go back through here. Uh, I don't need to save out here. And we're gonna take... Wait, which way is the elevator again? I think it's this way, right? I'm gonna take the elevator down and go in and talk to some people. I miss Medi. I wish Metaton got rebuilt. I want to talk to Metaton. Uh, I wonder if he's just wandering around in ghost form right now. Probably. Oh yeah, take this elevator down. Whee! Oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I guess I have to walk in the elevator. Fuck. Stupid. Anyways, let's go down. Down to the bottom. Down to the top. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> down to the top? Well, I mean, in some games it's like that. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna see what this holds for us. Um. Wait, no. I can use this elevator. God, ah, so far down. Let's go see my friend, Dr. Alfie's. Oh, wait. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden, in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. Click. Okay, I go there then. Behoo. See you guys in a moment. There we are. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like, jeez. It's not my fault. I'll just take a shortcut. Wee what? What? What am I all carrying? Oh yeah, I used the dog residue. In... Oh wait, I have all my glam burgers back. Oh, cause I haven't. Because I haven't fought Asgore yet. I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm getting stuck on a bear. Wait, I should have went through the shortcut again. What am I doing? I'm too tired for this, apparently. I still have to edit a bunch of audio today. Uh, uh. Okay. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Uh, well, it, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland socks! I don't want to have to go over there! So here you go. Well, you are a fish, so... Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Don't worry, I won't read it. I'm not... Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them him herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. That's very rude, Papyrus. <laughs> what a jerk. Okay, let's go deliver this letter. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Knock knock. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yeah, let's do it. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? N no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... It, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! D did you write this letter? It, it wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. Th that's adorable. And I, I had no idea you, um wrote that way. It's surprising, too. 
After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. Okay. Dating started, apparently. Dot, dot, dot. Question mark? Uh, uh, sorry, I I'm still getting dressed. Take your time. Oh my god, you are so cute in that. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Uh, anyways, let's do this thing. Dating stuff. Oh. <laughs> hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? <laughs> Uh, um, I got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. This isn't Hoonie Pop! That would increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyways, d don't worry, I I'm prepared. Uh, I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Uh, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought some waterproof cream for your skin. Your skin. Uh, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that, uh, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating start this time? Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh, okay. <laughs> you look horrified. What's with that facial expression? Uh, do you like anime? Yes! Hey, me, me too! I love anime. Let's talk about anime. That's all we have to do. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Yeah, that's actually a fabulous place to take me on a date. <laughs> Find me things. <laughs> Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realize if you deliver that thing... It might be a bad idea, so I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Ah! Have you at least seen her? Nope. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck she, could she be? Oh, oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, I already knew because of the Metaton fight. I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than like I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you t to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth! Th the truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me! Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth when neither of us are? Uh, you don't know that. They say, be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I've been there, Alfie. <laughs> I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. It's so sad. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. 
Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how could I tell a dying the tr truth? I d don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> Let's roleplay it. <laughs> roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Me, obviously. <laughs> oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> um, hi, Undyne. How are you today? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> Th thanks! You say that to me a lot, and I, I never know what to say. Oh, But I know you just mean it pl platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to, um... Talk to you about something. Then she kisses you. <laughs> what? Undyne would never. Uh, uh, hmm. I kiss her back so softly. I look gently into her eyes. <laughs> I start hollering. Undyne, I love you. Undyne, kiss me again. Undyne. <laughs> What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I w was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfits are really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, uh yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that's, oh god. Okay, you can come out. Let's, I can't read that fast, so. <laughs> Those are just anime, they aren't real. Oh, that's so sad. Alfie, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alfie, Undyne, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie, shh, shh. Get dunked on! <laughs> <laughs> Literally dunked. Literally dunked! Alfies, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie and to anyone anymore. Alfies, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. I'm dying. You... You're going to train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer! Uh, Undyne. I'll do my best. Bye. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, uh... I'm <laughs> sorry. No. No! I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No. I can survive this. I have to be strong. For Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I'll try my best to live in this world. See you later. <laughs> what, you can't live in a world without anime? <coughs> now I'm in the garbage dump. Hey, I'm gonna check out, um, Metaton's house again. See if, uh, he's there. 
Because his body is broke, so his soul has to go somewhere, right? Maybe he's living in his house again. Uh oh, what's this? Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys, Alphys and I finished our trading early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay, apparently not going to <laughs> Metaton's house. I better get going right away. Something seems to be going on. But I'm going to end this episode here for now. So we begin the true pacifist ending. And in the next epi episode, episode, we're going to go to Alpha's house and see what's going on. So stay tuned, uh, subscribe if you like this episode, and go follow Tumblr stuff, and, uh, that. Bye! God damn it!